This time last year, we were previewing the Olympic Games. This time this year, we are also previewing the Olympic Games. The postponed event will begin in exactly 200 days in Tokyo. To kickstart our 2020 Olympic coverage, CNC3 Sports has dived into what is a major debate. The simple question we're seeking the answer to is whether the introduction of events such as skateboarding and surfing and breakdancing and climbing water down what is regarded as the greatest sporting spectacle in the world. It's not your traditional Olympic sport. And while conservatives cringe at the likes of breakdancing, surfing, skateboarding and climbing being included in these ancient games, some see the dawn of a new Olympic era. Just as, you know, human beings are evolving, sport is evolving. Surfing, skateboarding and climbing have already been approved for the Tokyo Olympics this summer. And you can add breakdancing to that list for the Paris 2024 Games. The idea Olympic officials say has a strong focus on youth. The International Olympic Committee has no choice but to embrace the major youth sports. The major youth sports such as skateboarding, break dancing or breaking as it's called, even surfing, are essentially, as I was saying, what you call radical lifestyle activities. The culture of these activities are anti-establishment, anti-rules, anti-money, anti-corporation. Veteran performer Rene Arno advanced our theory about breakdancers. Those dancers that use uh, dance and breaking in specific as an outlet or an alternative to a life of crime, you know, now have an opportunity to really do something with their, with their natural gift or their new gift. The evolution of sports Brian Lewis speaks of is echoed in the words of TNT surfer Shay Loveless. It's obviously a kind of step towards accepting and um, embracing uh, a greater diversity of sporting activities. Obviously, that's going to have some great spin-offs for the surfing community here and for the worldwide surfing community. Loveless has challenged the critics to dig deep into these sports and find out the mental and physical toughness they take. These are sports which require the same things that all the other sporting disciplines require. But above all the sports, breakdancing has come in for the most criticism. Rene Arno, who's a veteran dancer and director of Dancebox TT, said, upon the IOC's announcement, there were also concerns coming out from within the breaking community. I think that breaking is very much legible to enter something like the Olympics. You can clearly see that it does take some level of skill training and it can even associate it with gymnastics to a certain degree. Arno says this will open an opportunity for dancers to get sponsorships and scholarships. For traditionalists, the world has changed and they may have to change with it. They have to wake up and smell the coffee. They have to get into the real world. Um, sport, as, you, as, as people call it, has evolved over time. Interesting. Let us know your thoughts on social media.